The much anticipated update to the Lumix GH5 is finally here as today Panasonic have announced the Lumix GH5 II and we've been lucky enough to get hands on with this camera to take our first look at this new addition to the Lumix family. And right from the start it's worth addressing the GH6 shaped elephant in the room as existing users of the GH5 have long been waiting for this full model update. Lumix have announced today that the GH6 is indeed coming with an anticipated launch of the early part of 2022, featuring some confirmed and incredible specs, including 422 10-bit cinema 4K, 5.7K max resolution, 4K 120, the GH6 will be well worth the wait for those loyal GH5 video shooters. The shape, size and form of the Lumix GH5 II is the same portable and ergonomic body that you'd expect from the premium Micro Four Thirds Lumix cameras. The first huge upgrade we see on the physical form of the camera is with the upgraded batteries. With the GH5 II now making use of the BLK22Es seen in the Lumix S5. This improved battery capacity will now give the GH5 II batteries a whopping 2200 milliamp hour capacity. We also see a change on the SD card slots with the camera now taking advantage of two of the faster UHS-2 V90 cards. This hints at the faster read and write speeds that the GH5 II needs to utilize the bleeding edge of this camera's video capabilities. And onto those headline grabbing video specs, the GH5 II hasn't been designed as a huge upgrade for existing GH5 users. Instead, this is a GH5 fit for 2021 for content creators not already in the Lumix ecosystem. The camera in its own right though serves video shooters impressively well. With its updated anti-reflected coated 20.3 megapixel live mod sensor rendering an incredible 4K 30 422 10-bit internally. 4K60 is also available at 10-bit 420, both without any cropping. Using the All Eye codec, the camera makes use of those UHS-2 V90 cards with a 400 megabits per second bitrate. With a host of additional video modes, we also get 10-bit cinema 4K at 50p and additional 4K anamorphic modes. For those that want even more in the way of post-production flatness, the GH5 II also ships with Vlog L profile as standard without the need of a paid firmware upgrade. The impressive video specs don't end there though. The GH5 II sees a massively improved autofocus system. Like the batteries, this is borrowed from the Lumix S5. The in-body image stabilization system also sees a large update, now offering six and a half stops of IBIS and all regardless of which lens you are using. The GH5 system since launch has always been one that pairs perfectly with external recorders, such as the Atomos Ninja V. With the GH5 II, Panasonic have built some key features with this specifically in mind. The GH5 II now offers simultaneous internal and external recording, allowing you to record the full 4K 422 10-bit via the full-sized HDMI output and simultaneously record a redundancy backup onto internal V90 SD cards at 10-bit 420. And finally comes the announcement of the live streaming capabilities of the GH5 II. The live streaming market is one that seemingly has seen massive exponential growth, with new adopters and content creators demanding higher quality and more portability and ease from their cameras. The Lumix GH5 II is the first Lumix camera to really cater for these users, offering built-in Wi-Fi live streaming. Users can connect to the camera via the Lumix Sync smartphone and desktop app, and live streaming in 1080 up to 60p to their platform of choice directly from the camera without the need for any additional capture cards or processor-intensive encoding applications. So, why the GH5 II? Well, it seems clear that this camera will be aimed at those not already in the Lumix ecosystem by offering a 2021 proof GH5 with some really interesting and notable new features for those content creators looking to jump into the well-loved world of Micro Four Thirds filmmaking. 
For some more information on the Panasonic Lumix GH5 II, there will be some links below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.